Today's video minute is brought to you by Best Card, the KDA simple, secure, and trusted endorsement for your practice's credit card processing needs. I'm Executive Director Kevin Robertson, and this is the KDA Video Minute for Friday, February 26th. Well, in our last video minute, we kind of left you in suspense about what was going on with dental therapy. There was a hearing, as we talked about, on Senate Bill 129 last Thursday. Uh, the KDA testified in opposition, so myself, Dr. Rivas, Dr. Jenkins, and Dr. S Matt Stanridge from Yates Center testified in opposition. Also, uh, several people, uh, Dr. Connie White from UMKC, um, Dr. Aaron Huslig, uh, Dr. Mariah Frazier, all provided written testimony. Uh, Dr. Linscott from uh, Kansas City provided testimony as well. So a lot of people testified in opposition to that bill. It went very well. Uh, at this point in time, deadlines are coming up. The committee chair has not indicated that he would um, is going to work the bill or vote on the bill. Actually, he says he's not. So we'll have to wait until the end of next week to make sure that's the case. But uh, right now, I believe that bill is dead and, and, it's, and it's all uh, finished up for this year. I would say this. Um, the thing that's nice about uh, virtual Zoom meetings or, or having meetings that are available online is that they can record them. So we do have a link that we're going to provide in the video minute here, or at least in the KDA e News, that is the link to that hearing. I will tell you that for some reason, the first part of the hearing, which was the proponent's testimony, the dental hygienist speaking in favor of the bill, it didn't record. It started recording right at the end of their testimony, right before our opposition testimony started. But if you'd like to take 30 minutes and, and uh, look to see what our comments uh, were and how that committee worked, uh, I certainly welcome you to take a look at that. And uh, it is on a YouTube channel, so you can see that and uh, provide input if you'd like. Back on February 9th, we did have a, legisl a Zoom legislative update that took the place of our dental day. We hope to have a couple other legislative updates during the session. They're not yet scheduled. Uh, with Zoom, we kind of have a shorter time frame, and, and so we want to see what's going on uh, when we might need to engage our members so that uh, we will have a couple more. So look for those. We had about 40 members that participated in the last one, about an hour-long conversation about issues and activities. So. Uh, Again, thank you for those of you that did participate in the February 9th legislative Zoom update and, uh, and look for more of those to continue, or at least a couple more to continue this legislative session. Earlier this on Wednesday, uh, Governor Kelly signed an executive order uh, which does allow, authorizes dentists and dental hygienists to give COVID-19 vaccines. Now, exactly how that works, we don't know yet. We're uh, communicating with Department of Health and Environment they don't seem to have any type of uh, process put in place. We assume there's going to be an office application of some sort that will have to be done. Uh, perhaps still a dentist or dental hygienist could volunteer at one of the, the many uh, vaccine centers or vaccine clinics around the state. Again, don't know exactly how that's going to work. We're working on that, and we will let you know uh, as soon as possible. So again, if you are interested in providing vaccines, uh, Please be aware of that and give us a call, send us an email, and we will certainly communicate that with all our members uh, at, the, at the first moment that we know what the process will be for that. I want to remind everyone that the KDA General Assembly, that's our annual membership meeting, will be held this year on Thursday evening, April 29th, via Zoom at 6 p.m. So we'll be getting information about that. Uh, a little bit later as we get into uh, March, so within a couple weeks or so, we'll get some information out on that. That move is prompted by, again, UMKC moving their in-person meeting, and so we were we did not want to conflict with any of the, the virtual CE that UMKC was doing with the Midwest Dental Conference, and want to make that as, as available to as many of our members as possible. That's why we went ahead and moved that to the evening. So again, Thursday evening, April 29th, 6 p.m., will be the KDA's annual General Assembly. Also remember to look for information on the WRDE, that's the Western Regional Dental Experience. That is the virtual CE opportunity that the KDA has partnered with the Arizona Dental Association. So that will be on April 9th and 10th live. It will allow you the opportunity to ask questions live with the presenters. But uh, So please look for the registration to sign up. 
uh, the early registration has passed, but registration right up to uh, April 9th will be certainly anticipated and uh, appreciated. So look for those, and we hope to, again, help you get through your, your CE in a, in a virtual format. As we get to the end of February, of course, we're still collecting our 2021 dues. Many of you have already done that. We encourage you to continue to pay your dues, again, whether it's one check, whether or not you sign up for installments, you can go online and do that directly and put in your credit card information to make that happen. Call the KDA office so we can take that information over the phone, whatever the case may be. We certainly encourage you to, uh, again, renew your dues for 2021. We appreciate your trust and confidence as we move forward and, and hopefully get through uh, this COVID situation that we've been in, in for more than a year, almost a year now. So uh, thank you again, and I will wrap this session of the KDA Video Minute. Thank you.